Now, when a worry boy is talking, people think that we are just talking because we like to talk. We, we speak good English. Now, now they hear where. <laughs> Check this one out. For instance, if you are dating somebody and the person is big, and then when you knock on the date the person again, <laughs> when you knock on the date the person again, then maybe like after four years. Normally, when other people see that person, they will come to you and say, ah, oh boy, I saw that your former girlfriend, oh, she has lost weight. Worry, why would we use word like that? Lost weight. Mm -mm. You hear worry, but oh boy, I see that your babe, oh. Where you the date before now? I see the babe. She don't feel. <laughs> At other times, you can come across a worry guy who will express a certain action that you ordinarily would not. For instance, let's say a Yoruba man is talking about a friend he saw. Say, ah, that man. He was owing me. As I was coming, the man was greeting me. I ignored him. Oh, Jare. <laughs> How some man would just say, well, he was greeting me. I said, the guy. Ibo man is saying, he was greeting me. Mba, no. I didn't answer. <laughs> but when you hear a worry man talk about that same thing, you hear him. Oh, boy. That guy when they owe me money, as I they walk out, they sink, they come, the guy just begin to smile, they greet me. I tint. <laughs> so for instance, I don't teach you a new one now. So anytime when somebody just say, oh boy, no, give me that one. You say, oh boy, give me money. I say, I tint. In other stands, <laughs> you go to worry, and they will tell you stories about arm robbers. In Lagos here, arm robbers will come in. Pow! Pow, everybody! Go, go. They hold their gun. Come on down! Hey, now. You hear, oh, okay, sorry, I'm a man, I'm a all the money we have. I will be, I say, will you keep money in the bank? Shut up! Oh. Enter house for worry with gun. Watch you. Worry boys. Everybody was gone. Everybody was gone. You hear worry boys when they just wake up. Mama, ah. <laughs> <laughs> mama, wake up on a man. Mama, wake up. See the gun when they carry it. <laughs> wake my brain better gun. Are they come? Wait, now make I smile. Not your vision. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not your vision. Ha, <laughs> Larry. I just said a black or white. Self. <laughs> you know, there's a difference between how we, worry boys, pray to God and the way other people pray to God. Two people for worry, they promote them for shell. So the first one, I just butter, so he goes. Yeah. Father Lord, I thank you for the wonderful thing you've done for me. The promotion that I just got that has raised my salaries from 250 to 400 a month. Father, I thank you. You are blessed, Father. Thank you so much. You're honored. You're worshipped. And Father, I remain loyal to you. Father, just guard my part. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Worry, boy, go, go pray. You just need that. Remove cup. Go there. Go there. You too bad. See the way you take promotion. Spoil me. Hey boy, they bow for me now for office. One try. <laughs> Every month now when I collect salary, I feel by car. <laughs> go there. No worry, I go increase your tights. <laughs> and God. <laughs> not beside the asshole, not beside greedy, but they promote me bone every other person. <laughs> Level go change. <laughs> and then for those of you who drive around Lagos and get harassed by the police, this is something that I've learned and is working. This is how it works. When you are driving and police go, hey, park! Park! And they come close to your car. They you pull up and they come close to your car. In our light! Okay, oh come down, everybody. Let's see your particulars. You have a problem. 
because they will search you whether your particulars are correct or not. But watch how we do it in worry. You are driving. As soon as you see checkpoint, remove cap. Tint. <laughs> when you don't drive, nearly reach there, begin begin cry. No, no, wait in the cause of this kind of nonsense. We can walk well, like this country get like this. So you can go kill somebody so that you hear park. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Police no one share for your wahala. Why you want <laughs> how many people you don't see whether they check their particular somebody they cry? <laughs> Where's the engine? <laughs> Chassis number. <laughs> Take, take, take. Come out here. <laughs> Normally in Lagos here, you're driving. Beggars come to your car. You hear, God help you. God bless me. Anything God give you, you give me. God bless you. You bless me with everything you get. God help you. God. <laughs> and you start giving them money. Don't worry. Beggars don't beg. They will come to you in the car. Look at everybody in the car now. You know he has one hand now. Yeah. Oh, wow. When I do see my hand, when I want my bag, when I first. I'm going to see say now one hand, I guess. Now, there are other things. Let me just give you some comparisons. Have you noticed that when Ajabotas are crying, there are some of them here, when they are crying, their mothers get touched. It affects them deep inside them. So they, they respond emotionally by buying things or showing concern or something. Watch this. Oh, man. I was coming. Uncle Musa did this to me. The mom will go, Uncle Musa. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come, come in and take ice cream. Oh, don't worry, I'll beat Uncle Musa. Go ahead, Jay Gulen. Picking just the cry. <laughs> Watch the mama. Mama, they do something. Maybe she they cook. If they hear the ah, they go just turn. Have you seen when you turn off a tap? Tap the rush. Shh, you turn them. Once the mama turn. Mama, well done. <laughs> then other things. I, I like churches. I like how they preach. I like what they preach about. These days you go hear pastor, the talk. You hear, all right, pastor, this woman had a bad leg. I went, I not call person Nemo. The pastor I'm talking about is a Hausa man. <laughs> no, no. I'm not even afraid of that kind of pastor. The pastor I'm afraid of are those mountains of fire. Have you heard their prayer? Cast out! Destroy! Cast sweat! Fire! Destroy! Annihilate! What? Fall and die. Dry up. One, one guy was driving past the front of the church one day. And he heard the pastor. Anybody that has, that has refused to marry any of you and has deceived you, destroy. The guy went inside the church to look for any of his former babes. I beg, sorry, I beg. Those people... Destroy, castrate, bury. <laughs> now, I was talking about this, our pastor. You would notice that you go, Pastor, this man has had a bad leg for 15 years and now he can walk. Walk here. Run. Back here. Catch me. Catch me. The person I'm talking about is a Hausa man. All right. <laughs> now, this same man came to do 
quarter experience in worry. Because you can't do total experience in worry. Now half experience because because of the war there, you know, if you finish the crusade, so now half you go do. So one third experience. <laughs> all right. Now, after all the preaching and everything, one worry by when they were like this. Nine legs straight. Instead of the pastor to leave him alone, pastor came and said, Yes! Pastor, this boy has been crippled from birth. And now he can walk. Pastor said, Really? Come here. Walk to me. The person I'm talking about is a house. <laughs> but you know how worry be? The boy, they run here. Run this way. Run that way. And the boy stopped near the pastor. Pastor, you don't cure this leg. If you break again, I'm not going to take him easy with you. 